as uh, she has been already introduced me, my name is Prasad, I am working with Sinecron Technologies Pune and the today's session is about mobile UX but like this is UX India conference, there are a lot of sessions on UX, how to uh, do for mobile, how to work for like what are the UX strategies or how should uh, practice should be built up. So rather than talking about all those things, I am just focusing on how the new technologies can be used to empower in interaction on mobile. So uh, before going uh, ahead, uh, I have a question for uh, all of you. You might be working on mobile application. So what, what do you consider while working on mobile application? What points are there or what, what do you, yeah. Screen size. Screen size, yeah. Anything else? Right, right. And when, when you download any video, uh, sorry, any application from uh, Play Store, App Store, anywhere, so uh, if you if you type any name uh, name of the application, there are a bunch of applications like 50, 100. So, what is your criteria of uh, downloading or installing that particular app? Free. Free. Okay. Rating. I think that's the first one. Yeah. Rating. Rating. Yeah. Okay. Size. 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 Okay. Performance, but how, how can you uh, see? I mean, measure the performance before installing. So that, that comes to maybe review point, ratings or reviews. Okay. So we do consider size. We do consider uh, like uh, whether it is free or not. Uh, what are the ratings are given? But there are one more point that uh, technology, uh, the new technology, how it can be used uh, to empower interaction, to engage uh, users more to increase your customer base, uh, to increase customer loyalty. So I have one video here. No, I think the sound is not working here. Are you brilliant work like that? Call a mic if you have to call a mic and put it in the box. So to please our small customers. Call a mic will work. But anyway, it's uh, just one and a half minute video, so. So basically what Mac McDonald's have done, they have put a table for kids. So they have called it uh, happy happy table. So kids are more kids are coming to McDonald's, they want to go to McDonald's. Of course they like burger, but they want to play on the happy table as well. So they are increasing their sales. Of course parents are waiting there for kids, uh, till, the, till kids finish their uh, games and all. So sales will also be increased because parents will be hungry and, hungry and they want to eat something. Uh, it's just a, a near field communication, NFC. I'll let you watch video. So another advantage for parents, they don't have to pay for all burgers, if their kids play well, there are rewards. So as we discussed, customer base will be increased, customer loyalty will be increased and of course their sale has been increased. So as we have discussed before, like mobile UX, so uh, we do consider screen size and all those things. So what is mobile UX or what is UX? There are a uh, lot of definitions on uh, internet about UX. So what, what I consider or what I read somewhere that UX is, um, it should be fun while, making, uh, while using that application or while using that website. User should have fun while uh, using the particular application. And how, how we can achieve that? Any any, uh, any any answers or any tips how we can achieve mobile UX? Gamification? Uh, anything else? <coughs> that is also a valid point. Making it super uh, simple to use. Okay. It's mainly used by kids and ladies. I think. Besides the ones of 
Uh, right, but there are other applications which are used by uh, professionals, right? But yeah, uh, keeping it simple is also a valid point. So basically, focus. Like nowadays, even if you watch uh, websites, those have bigger fonts than the bigger content. So content is king. That's what uh, is the new trend is. Or rather than saying new trend, that's that's what it should be. So focus on content. Now, if you see IRCTC website on the mobile, I think they have uh, showing everything on the mobile. I'm not sure. I haven't checked that on mobile, but I assume it will be. But if you uh, at the same time, if you check Make My Trip, Clear Trip, other uh, other sites, they must be focusing on what tasks will be done on the uh, on mobile, and they are focusing only on those tasks rather than showing everything on mobile. So focus on your con uh, and focus on your users as well. Of course, that's the first thing. We we are here. We know everyone is aware that. Users should be focused, as Magnolia says that, focus on essential tasks, keep it simple, as, as you have rightly pointed out, and add technology flavor. Uh, add technology flavor is whenever you get a chance, or if there is a need to add technology, then only we can add it. Rather than saying, yeah, I want to use augmented reality on uh, my application, rather than doing that, if your application needs uh, some technology to be used, then only use it. Otherwise, uh, just just for the sake of using technology or overusing it will not work. That's what this quote says from Steve Jobs. We have got to start with customer experience and work back towards technology, not the way around. So this is uh, one application from IKEA. IKEA is the largest furniture chain in the US. So last year, uh, I, I had an interview uh, I called interior guy and done interior for my flat. So being a designer, I was being uh, able to visualize what he was telling me, uh, the suggestions, but it was quite difficult for my family members. So that that is a gap which IKEA application has filled up. So that is a uh, augmented reality technology. So you just have to you just have to take that app, whether it is your living room, whether it is your uh, bathroom, as they have shown in this picture. You just have to frame that area. You can select the designs of watch basing, you can say, change that, you can change the uh, colors, you can change the maybe ply and everything, and that's it. Then you can uh, finalize, decide that, and you can say, uh, buy it. So that gap has been filled, and I'm sure that IKEA uh, would have increased the sales because of that. Another thing is Google Wallet. So you don't have to carry your wallet, you don't have to uh, carry your cards, you just have to touch that, you, and it's easy to send and receive money as well. So basically, McDonald's, then IKEA, then Google. So these are big names. So these big names are using technology just because uh, it's making uh, users' life easier. So what I'm doing here, I, I'm not uh, exactly giving more tips or anything. It's like uh, those are simple things, but I'm just providing an ideas, or that might click any idea that uh, how app can be used. Yeah, I have a question. Like you know, uh, mentioned Google Wallet. Google Wallet. technology and trying to you know make life simpler right it is also important that the external factor that every uh, shop every other store should have uh, that technology to accept the app which you are developing right so absolutely it should be on both ends so how do we cover the gap definitely i think that's the reason we don't have google wallet in india yet yeah. So uh, that that has to be awareness. I mean, if there is awareness, if those systems or those machines are uh, little cheaper, then only uh, users will install that and uh, shops and everything. Uh, even Happy Table, I haven't seen that anywhere in uh, India. Then uh, these kind of apps will only flourish in maybe in US or maybe in UK, where we call them as advanced technology countries who are, uh, who are implementing this. And it's a hypothetical situation. Yeah. But as a company, you can always leverage on a personal <coughs> advantage, sell it to your customer, yeah. and both the places. I mean, you can always, because we are not lagging so much behind US. So no, this is not about we lagging behind. No, in the sense, any kind of technology. Because, as he said, awareness should be uh, presented to uh, stores as well, saying that this is the technology which is going to take over in the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. That's okay. a good uh, suggestion 
Right, but that depends on what technology you are using. So uh, last year we had a conference, I think, in IIM, and the reason I think we are not taking uh, there this year because the uh, rooms were too far. Uh, we have planned on it, it is a Dubai project. It was a Dubai project. They had similar conferences, and uh, we developed an application for them and use augmented reality for them. Uh, so it was like whenever they uh, move their application somewhere, so they, they know uh, which room is where and which workshops are held where or which uh, talks are there. So it's the same thing. And in that case, you don't have, you don't need any anything from stores or shopkeepers or any other persons. If it is barcode reader, I think uh, Flipkart is already using that. Instead of typing uh, or giving input for search, you can directly uh, just scan the barcode of that product and it will be shown in Flipkart app. So it depends on which technology we are. Now this is a bank application. One of my uh, friends who came back from US for good and he did settlement with rental and everything but his check was not yet done. I went there for a short trip, he told me to bring uh, bring the check back in India. I was I was a little, a little curious that how he will deposit that US check in Indian bank. But it was very simple, he, he doesn't have to take it to home as well. When I gave it to him, in the office itself, he opened the Wells Fargo account, his uh, bank application account, he scanned the check, front, uh, front side and back side, and that's it, money has been deposited. So, even in this case, we don't need anything, right, from stores and everything. Even ICS and other things, can, other banks can do it. Starbucks, uh, again, barcode reader. So, they, here also, you don't have to pay from, uh, you don't have to remove wallets or use cards, just uh, scan that barcode from the store itself and they have barcode readers on, on all the, in all the stores. And you can uh, you can notice that there is a, another coupon from Target shop as well. So using these kind of technologies, uh, we can make users' life easier. Uh, rather than saying disadvantage, but there is one case that if you search on uh, internet uh, around two divorce out of five in US, are happening because one of the spouse is addicted to mobile. So, so it depends how far you want to go. And that's it from my side. Thank you.